48 Muslim Brotherhood members were accused of inciting violence and murder in protests against the removal of Mohamed Morsi from office. According to the prosecution, two people were killed and six others injured in the ensuing violence. But unlike previous cases facing the Brotherhood, this was different. All the previous trials through which the Muslim Brotherhood leaders and members were convicted was in absentia. So what makes this trial significant is that it was the first time they were convicted while present. It's the first trial to reach a verdict after regular proceedings. The defendants pleaded not guilty. All their defense requests were met and the judge heard over 25 defense lawyers before issuing the verdict. 37 of the present defendants were sentenced to life in prison and just one for three years. The 10 death verdicts were all in absentia, but that was not all. The court also ordered to confiscate all private funds and properties of the convicted, with prohibiting them from managing these properties, along with the properties of the Freedom and Justice Party, and the Guidance Bureau and the Muslim Brotherhood NGO. The Brotherhood tried to disrupt the verdict, showing objection. Their lawyers say the verdict was harsh. The verdict greatly shocked us, particularly that the verdict went to confiscating the PJP and the Brotherhood properties. The party still legally exists and does not deserve this brutal treatment. We used to say that justice is our last resort, but if there is political struggle in the country, judges should stay far away. There is still room to appeal, but legal analysts say it won't be as easy as the previous trials that reach a verdict without hearing the defense. Adel Mahroui, CCTV. Cairo.